In 2019, I inherited a larger team comprising of people working across three product divisions, motorcycles, marine engines, and ATVs. And I quickly discovered that all was not well. What I found at the core was a complete lack of trust. Managers weren't working together, teams weren't working together, and there was no clear direction and targets were being missed. In our company engagement survey, the three teams of motorcycles, ATV and marine scored the lowest engagement across the whole company. Well, what did this feel like? Well, this is what our head of HR said. The team were fragmented, survey results were poor. There was friction in the team, no leadership, and HR concerns were being raised by employees daily. And one of our experienced sales managers said, team members left, an unhealthy atmosphere with no trust or respect prevailed. It was unpleasant, dysfunctional, not fun and unrewarding. I can tell you from my personal experience that it often felt like being in the midst of a civil war. I knew there needed to be some immediate and significant changes across the team if we were to survive and thrive. But my goal was clear. We had to realign the team with our company values and build ourselves into a well-respected, high-performing team. Now, I already knew Freddie Gilmard of The Red Thread as we'd worked together when creating the company values a few years previously. Freddie, perhaps you could pick up the story from here. Of course, thank you, Paul. And hello, everybody, wherever you are in the world. So the challenge of any leader wanting to change their team's performance is patience. I knew straight away that Paul was serious as he didn't buckle when I told him this could take as long as 18 months. I was also really impressed with the passion and the desire to change from the managers and the stakeholders I met as part of the discovery process. There was no doubt everyone cared enormously about wanting to change and wanting the division to start performing as it should. In listening to the managers' hopes and fears, it also became very clear that they saw themselves as second-class citizens in the business. And there was really clearly some work to be done to build back belief and pride. Now, in the initial few weeks, we spent a considerable amount of time getting to know each other better, building trust amongst each other by having real and authentic conversations. We talked about our feelings, even if at the beginning this felt really weird. We shared what would make us proud, what would get us excited to come to work and what we wanted to be famous for. We started to create a vision of the future. We talked about what we wanted our teams to say about us, how our customers do, would describe working with us and what this would feel like and how we could become great role models for the rest of the business, really clearly from second class to first class citizen.